All right, we're going to talk about surf sinker, guys. Um, back in the day, all you old boys used to use spoon sinkers and star sinkers, um, which did the job for a long time, but they're not aerodynamic. They don't fly very well, and to be honest, they roll around a lot in the surf. So um, over the last sort of 10 to 15 years, grapnel sinkers have come to fore. A lot more aerodynamic. They hold bottom a lot better as well. And they can also help you get sinkers off snags, which I'll show you shortly. So, depending on what sort of beach you're fishing, you're fishing sort of three ounce, four ounce, five ounce, anywhere up to eight ounces of lead, sometimes nine when you're fishing a storm. Depending on what rod you're fishing, I like to fish six to seven ounce a lot when I'm fishing these heavier surf beaches like where we are today on the Midwest. Um, so I'm gonna go for something like a, this is one of the Gremlin sinkers, this is a six ounce. You'll see these wires on it, right? So what I'll do when I get a new sinker, as I'll just bend out those legs, just so they hold sand a lot better. These come with a swivel. Normally I'll clip a bait release clip. So that's one of our bait release clips, so I can clip my bait down on top of that. It's a harbour bait release clip. But we'll go back, so you'll see these legs, they fold away. So if you snag up on the reef, let's just use this as an example, snag up on the reef, the legs, will bend out and you get your sinker back. So that's the idea of the breakaway legs on those. So that's the Grem wire. These have been really popular, the weed eaters. Um, they'll be available back again soon. So this has just got flexible cord in it. So if you're fishing really heavy reefs, so where we're fishing, there's a chance of catching a dewy. Uh, we're fishing on top of the reef, so we are gonna get snagged. With this, it's just gonna pull away every time. You don't have to worry about those legs. So. Um, these have been really popular, they'll be available again soon. These are just landed, these are a VEX sinker, Lumo Glow, so that you can charge these up with your headlamp. These are good if you're fishing off the rock wall and you want to see where your bait, your sinker is when you're retrieving. So you want to charge that up and let it glow a bit so you can see it. And this is the Long Boom. So these have been really popular with the droning guys. They're droning three to 500 meters out. They need to make sure that their sinker is set properly and their baits are set when you've got that much line out. So bigger, heavier wires, like these are really heavy duty. I think they're about three or four mil thick, those ones. So super strong. That long boom is actually really good for casting as well. I found, I don't know what it is about that longer length, but when I'm casting off the shore, I seem to be getting a bit of extra distance. You also see guys, they've got these big hooks on. So we talked about those bait release clips earlier. They've got a smaller hook for smaller baits. If I'm fishing a whole mullet head or a whole herring head, I'm just gonna clip my 8.0 hook, 7.0, 8.0 hook straight under that, and that'll release when it hits the water quite comfortably. So they're the types of sinkers we're using today, guys. Um, we'll go through some other things shortly. All right, guys, so we're just set up. We're gonna try and catch some fresh tailor for bait. Really important to get some fresh tailor strips for Mulloway for later on tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna use the new Vex Long Cast Tailor Rig. So we've designed these, they've got the bait release clips on the bottom. We've got our dangle float above our set of gang hooks. Um, and now I'm just gonna show you how to bait up a, a muley or a pilchard, depending on where you are in Australia. So basically I just line that up, top hook with the eye. You wanna go in 90 degrees, guys. So you'll see how I'm twisting that hook, 90 degrees. And I'm lining it up with those dots on the side of the muley, or pilchard. And that top hook should end up in just through that eye or just behind the gill plate. So that's a perfectly presented uh, pilchard or muley bait. And on these uh, tailor rigs, so it's just a standard pattern oster rig, 60 pound leader, 360 swivel. We've got our bait release clip. So I've now clipped my bait down. So what that will do is it allows my sinker and my bait to cast as one. So when you don't clip your baits down, you've got your sinker and your bait and they helicopter and you just can't get as much distance. I can clip this down, they'll fly out together when it hits the water, that'll just fall off. The, di the dangle float will float my bait off the bottom and I'm right in the Taylor Prime feeding zone. So let's whack this bait out. I 
like that rod holder. Make sure you set your drag, not too loose. You want it to make sure that it's gonna set the hook when you get a bite. Keep it nice and tight and we'll just watch and wait for our first tailor. So I'm gonna run through a simple Mulloway rig, which is ideal when you're fishing a beach, which has got a deep drop off right in close. You don't have to cast so far, just like where we're fishing today. Also good if you've got a gutter right in close and casting distance isn't priority. So this is the Vex Mulloway rig. It's a triple snell. So we have the circle on the top and two live bait hooks below, snelled on 80 pound leader. Through to some good quality crane swivels and you see, We've got that running sinker. So we'll be able to lay that out nice in that deep channel right in front. And that'll allow the mulloway to take the bait unimpeded. So we've got a nice bit of uh, tailor strip here, perfectly prepared. We're just gonna whack that on now. Nice and simple. Make sure those hook points are nice and clear, very important. Make sure that skin sticks out, perfect. And now I've got the Vex fillet thread here, and I'm just gonna whip it. Give it a bit more protection from the pickers, and it allows me to really set those hook points nice and clear. Another good tip, guys, when you're fishing with Taylor fillets for Mulloway, make sure you're changing your fillet sort of every 20 minutes because they lose their smell really quickly so you want to be changing those baits quite regularly especially when there's lots of pickers around that's about it nicely presented bait hook points nice and proud heavy leader go get a mulloway on that one all right guys in this video we're going to look at the top three assassin rods that you should look at if you're interested in getting more out of your beach fishing and you want to cast further and you want to catch more fish so check out these three rods we'll run you through each one of the models right now all right so we're going to check out the first of the range which is the bluefish zero range this range is basically for people that are fishing probably more metro or fishing lighter sinkers from say three to five ounce plus a bait um, so there is a 13 a 14 and a 14 6 model in the range in both short butt with bionic finger and also we didn't long butt for the Australian range of bluefish rods. So they're ideally suited with a, a six to eight thousand size reel, PE3, PE4 or 30 to 40 pound. Um, if you're fishing four ounce in a bait, have a look at the bluefish range. A uh, couple of models, there's a special model and the Zero. The Zero comes with Fuji componentry and high quality finish. They're all three piece as well guys, so they're easy to transport, they come in a nice EVA bag. So if you've only got a small car, you can pack them away nice and lightly and uh, store them nicely. So we're going to cast the Bluefish Zero out on the low mount bionic finger. First thing I want to point out to you is the longer drop from the rod tip. You need to have that longer drop to get momentum up and get the swing of your sinker casting to get a longer distance. So I'm opening up the trigger, leader around the back, close the trigger. Bow wire, hand up really nice and high. Simple as that. So next in the lineup is the Evo Zero range. If you're looking for a super lightweight rod, this is the one for you. These things have to be held to be believed, guys. The graphite in this is next level. The lightness of it, but by being able to punch a bait a long way, you really have to try one of these to check it out. You'll see when you get into the Evo and the Horizon range, they've got numbers on them. So that's the number five. There is a model four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. And what that is, guys, is the optimum sinker weight. So this is a four to six ounce rod. It's a number five. So the optimum cast weight is five ounce plus a bait. One thing to note, all assassin rods is sinker weight plus bait. 
So this is the number five. I'm fishing a five ounce and I'm fishing half a, a yellow tail on this at the moment and I'm casting a long way. So this is the 14 foot. You can get them into a, a 14, 14, six and 15 foot. Again, ideally suited to an eight or 10,000 size reel. Straight away, I can feel the difference. The light weightness of this rod is unbelievable. I really enjoy casting this. Longer drop again. And now we wait. If you want the best in surf rods, check out the Horizon Championship range of rods. These things again have to be held to be believed. The lightness of the graphite, the crispness of the blank. I'm punching baits further than I ever have before with this range of rods. This is the number seven. So this is a six to eight ounce plus bait rod. This is where I'm doing a lot of heavy surf fishing. I'll crack out this bad boy. 15 foot long, so I can keep my line really high above the breakers. Also important when there's a lot of weed around, you really want that 15 foot rod to get that length, but it also helps with casting. I've got a 10,000 size reel on that. You can fish a 10, a 14, 18,000 size reel. These are all short butt bionic finger. There is no long butt rod version, so you need to fish short butt when you're fishing the championship range of rods. But this is the best surf rod you'll ever hold. You have to see him to be, be believed. All right, now we're gonna show you how far we can cast these things. You wanna hit the horizon to cast a long way, this is the rod for you. Certainly don't lack any firepower on these rods. I'm looking forward to hooking a big Mulloway or a Dewey or a Samson fish tonight on this and showing us how powerful these things really are. All right, another really important accessory when you're fishing on the beach is to make sure you've got a good quality rod bucket. Can't stress this enough. If you're fishing 14, 15 foot rods all day, you need to be comfortable. And when you get pulled flat by a big stingray or a big shark or hopefully a Mulloway, you don't want that in your groin. You're going to get bruises and all sorts of stuff going to happen. So these are the Master Grip fully oiled leather bucket. Smell really nice out the packet. Uh, available in different styles. This is one of the black molded ones. Um, this is actually P. Willie's one, which is the same. Mate, how long have you had that thing for? Uh, 1997 I got that. And I've had to adjust the belt to fit my guts. Just goes to show you the quality of it, you know, like that's caught so many fish and it's done lots of yards and it's still like it was pretty much brand new except for the stinky muley guts all over it. So make sure you get yourself a good rod bucket. You can hang your, your plies off the side. You can put a knife on it as well. A bait bucket so you got bait handy to get. So check them out. Anyway guys, that's three surf rods, assassin surf rods that you need to check out. I'm gonna link all of these rods in the description. Um, and you can go onto the website and have a look at them. But yeah, if you want to cast further, get a get a, one of these rods into your hands and you'll just see how well they cast. Straight to the horizon.